early days of the Korean War, the North Koreans targeted this man, a high-ranking officer in the South Korean Army. They tracked him down and assassinated him. Nice hands on base, huh? <laughs> Today, that man's son lives in Louisville, Kentucky. Young Che is a seventh-degree black belt in Taekwondo. But the tensions in Korea make him fearful for his family still there. And ongoing negotiations don't change that. I don't know nothing about the, you know, um, political way, you know, but um, just the one thing is I know clear, you know, I can tell you. just a stunt anyone can do. He is blindfolded and that blade is razor sharp. This is for real. Okay, so it uh, tastes like watermelon.
as well as Mike Curtis and Tarek Sabi, and they're going to show us our demonstration. Gentlemen. in Korea 2,000 years ago to teach self-discipline as well as self-defense. Master Yung Sik Choi teaches the martial art form at his Louisville Karate School. Master Choi, a 7th degree black belt, demonstrates. Many thanks to all of <laughs> Young Choi has been studying karate for more than 35 years. It was his knowledge of martial arts that enabled him to leave Korea with a permanent visa and teach his class in Louisville. That was 20 years ago, and he remembers that at first it wasn't easy. At the time, 1976, uh, it's pretty hard to live in for martial arts, you know. So I tried to find a job for uh, a lot of different jobs. Young says he often worked three jobs getting just three hours sleep, but he knew he also had to conquer the thing that presented the biggest problem, communication. I couldn't speak English, so uh, I went to the University of Louisville language course. It wasn't long before Young met his wife, Mia, who had come to Kentucky from Korea to study in the United States. Mia loved to cook, so that's what she did. We had only one Korean restaurant for the traditional way that we're serving. So I'm, I'm very proud of it. And 500 athletes will gather in Madison Square Garden for the World Taekwondo Association Championships. Kentucky's only participant will be 8-year-old Michael Sherrill, who got into this for reasons of self-defense. Michael was encouraged by his mother basically because of the mental benefits of Taekwondo. Michael needed more self-confidence. Uh, he was shy and uh, not very outward and we wanted him to gain more confidence and self-respect for adults and I think that this has done it for him. Obviously, to be competing in the world championships up at Madison Square Garden, Michael does not lack for dedication. Oh, he tried hard, that's why, you know, practice hard. And then three, four times a week, uh, he get involved in martial arts. And we wish Michael Sherrill, a fourth grader at Auburndale Elementary School, the best of luck in New York and the World Taekwondo Association Championships coming up this weekend.
Mr. Che at the Louisville Karate School can be a little tough on the old muscles. And believe me, nothing would feel better now than to soak in a nice hot tub. Or like Pia Magazine's Joel Loy is about to do, travel all the way to Baden-Baden, Germany to soak in the hot, soothing mineral water there. Ugh. <laughs> novel. These elderly residents of Louisville's Butcher Town spent this day as students of Taekwondo, the 2,000-year-old Oriental martial art form. In the face of rising street crime, older Louisvillians like Jean Kinzer have become concerned for their safety. I wanted to learn some of this karate. Why? Well, I live alone. Self-protection, I guess you'd say. It helps to know a little, you know, other thing. And what's just gifted into, yeah, I got a little bit of it, but not much. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time I've ever seen karate demonstrations. Uh, you know, kind of re refresh my course. <laughs> These folks couldn't have been in safer hands. The man at the head of this class, Master Che, is former national champion of his native Korea. Before being invited to become an American resident five years ago, this 33-year-old black belt instructed soldiers and police officers throughout the Far East. Master Che, who now teaches in Louisville, demonstrated a handful of civil defense moves to the group today. Moves that anyone, regardless of age, can use to their advantage in a street situation. I like to give to some protect themselves, uh, make a long life. For most of these regulars at the Wesley House, this morning's free seminar was entertaining. Not to mention enlightening. Greg Donaldson, News One. These and the earliest records of martial arts in Korea date back to about 50 BC. But one of these early forms of the sport, Taekwondo, is very much alive today, right here in Louisville. You can see local students this weekend at the Ta Taekwondo Championship Tournament. You can tell us more about it, Grandmaster Che and. You are here, of course, with the uh, with the tournament coming on. Mm -hmm. What can we expect? How many different students will be uh, demonstrating? Uh, will be uh, uh, will be several uh, state 
like uh, uh, and also uh, Jasper, Indiana, Milltown, uh, Indiana. And what and kind Martial arts are we talking about here? Pretty elevated? Yeah, yes, that's pretty big size. And yeah. I guess Grandmaster, is that as mm -hmm. high as you that's can go? That's the highest you can go. Now, how long did it take you to get there? Uh, I have been martial arts for over 40 years. I was a young kid. I started from really? Korea. And mm -hmm. are you finding, why as a kid did you get involved in it? Because uh, I'm a young, uh, baby in uh, my family, and uh, I have a lot of troubles, and uh, my uh, you know, parents took me pre with the school and then forced to go, I don't like it, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just, uh, one time in the championship, I winning. So after that, I get involved. One win. And why do you think people should maybe study Taekwondo here? What, what can they learn? Because uh, uh, I think uh, need the confidence mm -hmm. and then self-control and uh, coordinations. And like a young kids need to behave. Yeah. And uh, we respect those kinds of stuff. Well, we're going to see you do some demonstrations coming up in about 15 minutes. We've seen you in action already, and I can see how you got your title. Absolutely. So we'll be checking in. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming Thank you very morning. much. Thank and again, the tournament is this Saturday. Uh, a Taekwondo school. He is Master Che. His Taekwondo school is Louisville Taekwondo School. You're on Preston Highway. And you've, how long have you been there? 20 years. You've been there for 20 years? Yes. So what, what does it take to become accomplished at what you do? About, uh, you're talking about black belt. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're a black belt karate. I'm a seven degree black belt. So is that the highest you can get? Yes. I have been martial arts uh, 38 years mm -hmm. experience. And uh, supposed to be a student uh, about two and a half years, mm -hmm. uh, 30 months. Martial arts, though, isn't about self-defense. Talk yeah. about what martial arts actually means. Actually, uh, ten means uh, kicking, jumping with the foot, and quan means destroy with the hand. So means way of art. We teach is most important is respect, and um, we have uh, some rules like uh, the loyalty of uh, community. And also um, uh, be obedient to your parents mm -hmm. and be honorable to your friends, something like that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And this is what you teach in the yes, school yes, as well? Yes. Now you uh, accomplished quite a bit. I understand that you have mm -hmm. medals that you can yes. show. And where did you get these? Okay, this is uh, from a uh, young time, mm -hmm. 1966, mm -hmm. uh, October 30th. And uh, from Seoul, Korea, but this is the international uh, championship and awarded by uh, President Park. Oh, and this, mm -hmm. this was the yes. award? And yet is that a gold medal? Of course. This is the biggest one. Of course. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Young Sik Choi Che sorry, was awarded the Distinguished Honor of Gold Medal for Outstanding Technique in Taekwondo, awarded by Mr. Park. Hmm, President of the Republic of Korea, October 1966. Well, that's delightful. I know you're really proud of that. Yes. This is my uh, best degree to achievement. And this is another one? This is for, I have a several, but this oh, is the biggest one. Okay. This is uh, uh, March So this 20th. is also, let's hold this up like this now. That's the only way to This is the 1967, uh, mm -hmm. uh, March 26th. I remember. And this is a uh, national championship in Taekwondo. I was a gold medal. Oh, that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. I mean, that's something much. I'm sure that you will carry with you forever mm -hmm. and yeah. ever. But talk about what it is, the discipline that goes into Taekwondo that you have, that you teach at your school. Uh, we teach is uh, not only uh, kicking and jumping and, you know, uh, screaming. Mm -hmm. those kind of stuff. We teach it. Number one is important is respect mm -hmm. because um, we are totally self-defense. Person who wrong kid like a street kids coming in the sign up mm -hmm. and we don't know if they are good or bad. It, that means we without the known we teach for the art they maybe use the wrong way. Mm -hmm. 
you know, like a, I buy them gun or a knife, the same meaning. Mm -hmm. So I try to make a good personality first and then set it up good way they use for the good public safety. You know. Okay. Now you brought along one of your students yes. today. Okay, he is uh, Mark Wilson. He was uh, uh, six years old. He started to martial arts. Oh, he did? He's uh, becoming to 20 years. And uh, he's a third degree black belt. And uh, he's, a, he's a bad boy. No, he's a bad boy. Now he's...